We're learning more about the lawsuit filed by Rockland teachers against the school district. Yeah, teachers say that they're taking a stand to protect themselves against the coronavirus and that the district isn't sticking to their agreement. Here's CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. School is back in session in the Rockland School District. Tens of thousands of students have opted to return to the classroom, taking the precautions required by the school district. The union says initially the district agreed if a student exhibited COVID like symptoms, they would be sent home for testing or quarantined. But teachers say that has been reinterpreted. To give them the authority to allow our health aid on campus to make the judgment call if that student is presenting actual COVID symptoms or symptoms that they determine related to something unrelated to COVID. In turn, allowing that student to potentially be sent back to your classroom, not truly knowing if they're COVID or not. The Rockland Teachers Professional Association filed a lawsuit against the Rockland Unified School District with the Public Employment Relations Board. The union wants students to immediately be given a rapid test. Without it, they say many families are choosing not to test at all. Without true rapid testing, many families are choosing not to test at all because they're already going to be out half as long of that mandated quarantine just to get a, you know, a standard or normal test turnaround. Um, so if we don't have that rapid testing, many families are just choosing to write out the entire quarantining, whether it's 10 or 14 days, versus getting tested and knowing one way or the other and potentially getting their student back to school even sooner. The district says the safety of students and staff are a top priority and that it's following state and county guidelines to safely reopen schools. The district also says the safety protocols were set by the state and county. The teachers union hopes to have a response by December 1st.